With an emphasis on hospitality as it welcomed buyers from around the globe, the Keeneland September yearling sale kicked off with nearly a dozen million dollar yearlings during book one. We spoke with a few top buyers and sellers, as well as Keeneland's Shannon Arvin and Tony Lacey. We're really excited about, about the results, about the feeling, about the excitement on the grounds. You probably heard me say as Jeffrey Russell likes to talk about the hustle and bustle felt really present and back, which we were excited about. It's a really diverse buying bench. Out of the 10 highest prices, there were nine distinct buyers. As, as we go back, it's electric. I think that was that was referred to today, you know, how, how the, the energy, the optimism. And I think the sellers were having as much fun as the buyers, which across the board is really what we're trying to encourage. And that's, a, that's an incredible market when we get to that. I love him. He's done very well here at the sale. He gets better and better every day. So he's got a lot of energy and uh, a lot of uh, sort of grit and a good mind and he's beautiful. And what's not to like? My son and Dr. David Priest did a short list for us and this was the one we kind of centered on. Because of her pedigree, I thought she was the best American favorite that I saw one of the best fillies I saw. There was a lot of nice ones, but, and so uh, we just kind of centered on her and, you know, we were lucky to be able to get her. I made a big mistake. I thought it was a gun runner and it turned out to be an intermission. So, you know, why would I pay that for an intermission? But uh, in all seriousness, it's, uh, you know, it's a uh, intermission for it doesn't look like an intermission. So hopefully one that doesn't look like an intermission, we can do good with. So, but we'll find out. Steve Asmussen will train him, and uh, you know, then we'll, we'll figure out where we go from there. We're just really grateful uh, to Stone Street Farm for having given us a couple of really, really nice horses to sell. A lot of, a lot of credit to Mr. Beck. He had two homebreds bring a million dollars or break a million dollars today too. And, He's put a lot of effort into this business and I'm just happy to see him rewarded. It was a little spotty, you know, going into the first day and it's really a home run game right now. It's really feast or famine, you know, there's a fine line and when you reach it, you know, you can get a lot more for a horse than maybe you thought you would get. I think all all's good. I think, the, I think the horses are so good. I think it was a really nice bunch of horses that we looked at and well, I think we've done good. I think the market is good at the very top, but it's a little bit spotty. Um, we've had a couple of RNAs, and um, in some cases, I don't, I don't really mind because uh, if they're fillies, um, I would like to add them to my broodmare band. And uh, we'll see how it goes for the rest of the sale. We always do really, really well in book two, so that's coming up tomorrow. As we look and are the new faces of Keeneland. We've got to look and see how, how we can modernize the process. And we can't be stuck in the sort of the same thought process. If something can be done, challenge the, challenge the, the boundaries a little bit, uh, trying to make it a better process, process for everybody. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content from the TDN.